Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Creepy Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little paper bat made out of just a few things that you can find from around the home. The first thing that you're going to need is a toilet roll tube and then a marker pen or some black paint, whichever is easiest for yourself. Some scissors and glue, a piece of white paper or some googly eyes and a piece of card in any colour. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our toilet roll tube and we're going to colour it in or we're going to paint it. To save yourself some time, I've already done one here. Just got a little bit to finish off. But you want to just make sure that everything is absolutely covered because you don't want to patch you that. Just finish this quickly to show you guys. Yep, just go around, check that there's no gaps. Obviously, if you're painting this, be a little bit more careful, put down something protective, especially if it's not your own house like it is mine. Okay, and then that should be all covered. Lovely. Next thing we're gonna do while that's drying, if you've painted it, is cut out some wings. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your card in half and then using a pen draw yourself a pair of bat wings those ones are absolutely terrible okay draw yourself a pair of bat wings Again, I've made some already, and this is what they should come out like. And then, if you're like me and you haven't got black card to hand, just colour them in again. Again, make sure everything is covered and nothing's patchy. Because, as I say, we don't want a patchy bat. And when you finish colouring the mitten, they should look a little bit like this. Again, make sure that everything is covered, including the rim on the outside, because as you see, I've used pink card, and it's going to look a little bit silly if my bat's wings are tipped with pink. So yeah, just make sure you go over and cover every little smidge like that. Also, this can get a little messy, as you can see. So again, please put something down. I don't want parents commenting and complaining to me that their children have demolished their kitchen table or something because you've not put anything down. But yeah, there's some bat wings for you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get back our toilet roll and we're going to fold in the top of it. Okay, so we're just going to fold it in like so. There we are like that because that creates some little ears for our bat and also the bottom for its legs. Again, you're going to see these little bits here, make sure you just give them a little once over with your marker pen or paint until they're all covered. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. On don't worry about being neat with this. Just make sure it's folded in. Ooh, got a little straggle there. Pull that bit off. There we go. A little bit again. Get those little bits that are showing. You might need to just unfold it to do it. Like I am. And then just to make sure that that stays in place, just take your glue stick and blob a little bit of glue onto the fold there. And you want to see, hold it, hold it over, hold it down for a few seconds until it holds together. And then do the 
anything in there. Drying. Bring back your wings. Fold them in half. They should be symmetrical. We've got a little crease like that. And then put a splodge of glue in that crease. Be quite generous. There we go. And then you're going to take these and stick them to the back of your bat. Oh, your toilet roll cheap. Press them on. You may want to do this before you fold it because then obviously, look, you can go inside and put pressure so you know that those wings are definitely going to stay on. Just fold that down. Okay, so our bat's got our wings, so we're almost there. All you've got to do now is decide whether you want to use some googly eyes or you want to use paper. Obviously, for this one, I used paper. So I'm going to use Google Eyes on my new one. So, get ourselves some Google Eyes out. It's going to be fun trying to fill the back of our food. There we go. And we'll just stick one on there like that. And then we'll take this second one. And we'll stick it on like that. These were already adhesive as well, which makes my life a lot easier. And then look, he's got some googly eyes. Right, all you need to do now, obviously, what's a bat without fangs? Take a piece of white paper, and as you can see from the ones I've already made, I fold it in half. So fold it in half. Cut yourself out a long triangle. Like so. Pull that out. And obviously, you're going to have two there, but then they're going to be equal, so just snip them in the middle. There we go. And then we've got two little fangs there. Get your glue stick, if you can pick up your fang. <laughs> Lock some glue on. Pop it onto your back. Do the same with the other one. Is the fang off because I've got glue stuck on my finger. Try not to do that. <laughs> but there we go, look. There's our little butt buddy. Oh, he looks really derpy compared to this one. But as I say, look, different tubes are going to make different sized bats. But yeah, he looks quite cool with the googly eyes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this creepy craft. I apologise if the lighting's a little bit dark. It is night time. It's got to be night time for bats. <laughs> Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Creepy Crafts and I'd love to see finished results if you want to like put links in the comments or anything like that, send me some pictures, that'd be amazing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay creepy!